Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? Got another Brexia All Be One draft box, and we're going to talk a little bit about Pauper and Artisan uh, while we're opening this one today. Uh, let me know in the comments do the stores in your area actually support Pauper or Artisan uh, formats? Because I don't see anybody really doing much with it, and I don't see anything, there's nothing locally for me in any of the stores around here that do either of those formats. And I think it's silly because it's one of the most fun formats because it's the most affordable format, Popper, obviously. Um, I think a lot of people have a lot more fun with that format than, than some of the more pricier formats to get into because, you know, if you spend 50 bucks on a deck and go play a tournament and have some fun, it's a whole different world, a whole different feeling than spending you know, $1,500 on a deck to go play and have fun. Uh, you know, here's the archetypes and your artwork with the Ellis Norman that we still haven't seen. We've opened a lot of products, not a single Ellis Norman. They obviously nerfed her for, for Florida, at least. <laughs> and I don't know, I see other people opening her, but I have not gotten a single one. I've opened quite a few boxes so far, so it definitely seems like they nerfed her quite a bit. But anyways... Um, draft boxes with this set, I think, are really going to push up in the future because there's so much power in the commons and uncommon slot in this set. Oh, man, starting off pack one with a feel bad. That's terrible. Awful. All right. So there's just so much power in the commons and uncommons that I really think, you know, I've already heard that, you know, Artisan and, and Pauper are being taken by storm right now by this set. Regular Island, Venery Rot Piece, Rot Priest for a really good rare right out of the gate. That guy's super good. And then our commons and uncommons. Uh, nobody cares. Right. We're going to try to rip through this box pretty quick, but Brixia might. Regular Plains. And tell with a completion for our next rare. But yeah, I, I just, I'm curious if you guys have any pauper support around you. Another feel bad. Woo. First Phyrexian land and our second Phyrexian land in the foil there. All right, put the foils up there. Hey, and our first mythic, Jace the Perfected Mind. So that's a pretty good pack. Got a mythic and a foil Phyrexian forest and a Phyrexian plains, non foil. All in the same pack. Can't complain about that. All right. I just think stores are really missing out on that. Uh, Friction Mike and another Friction Island. I think Kemba for the rare full art. Because, you know, they're like, oh, well, if, we're not going to make any money on that because it's all commons. But really, uh, Friction Horror, commons can make you a lot of money. Uh, Convert and Vraska full art for the next Mythic. All right, so we're already off to a better start than the last draft box. The last draft box, I think, or no, it was the last set box we opened. We only got four Mythics in the whole box, so that was terrible. Drone, Forest, Vran, the Executioner Thane, and there we go. I think that, uh, you know, a lot of stores are, would be surprised how much they could make up of just selling commons and uncommon playsets. Rebel, Phyrexian Swamp. And all will be one for Mythic number three. So already off to a better start than a lot of these set and draft boxes we've opened from this set. All right, the Golem, the Swamp, and the Gardens. All right. So I don't see why they don't support it. Maybe they just feel like they're not going to make any money off of it. Friction you might. Plains, uh, Full Common, and the Scroll. That's it. But really, if they, if they look at the numbers, I think they'd be surprised. So I don't see why they don't support more. Poison Counter, Phyrexian Forest, Kaido, and that's it. But they look like really fun formats. I haven't had a chance to play them at all since I got back in the game in 2019. Uh, Mike Forest, Conduit of Worlds, because there's just no support for those formats around here at all. None of the stores do it. So now what happened in the future here, but it, it just seems to me like uh, Rebel Island, slow bad. Seems to me like it's a missed opportunity for a lot of people <laughs> uh, because to me, I think that would be a lot more fun than you know the, the 
other formats where you gotta spend tons of money to build a good deck. Rixian Horror, Mountain, and Malkator, Purity Overseer, full art, full rare. I guess we'll put that up on the walls. Sea Chrome Coast for our first pass land. And there we go. So glad they printed fast lands on a standard set <laughs> so we can get our hands on them again. Samurai, Swamp, Common Foil, and a Dragon Glider. Fast lands are something that was around the old days and uh, it came out when I wasn't playing for a long time, so I kind of was having trouble getting them. Frixian Mike, Frixian uh, Mountain, Solus Jailer, and that's it. Glad to be able to get my hands on a good amount of them. Uh, Rebel Island Frixian Vindicator for our Frixian Horror Mythic. So Mythic number four. So we're already doing as good as the last set box in our draft box here. <laughs> here we go. Poison Counter. Frixian Swamp. Kithic. Right, at least they're about halfway through the box now. Nothing too exciting yet. Feel bad moment. Right. Planes. The Microsynth. Decent rare. i move these commons over before I knock them over, which I'll probably knock them over over here too. So it doesn't really matter where I put them. I'm probably going to knock them over, but hey, I'll try. Poison Counter. Swamp. Full Common. And Tyvar. Jubilant Brawler. It's a three drop planes order. Just saying. Just saying. I don't think we've seen any two or three drop planeswalkers that haven't been something. Ah, yeah, there's been a few. Okay. Uh, War of the Spark had some some uncommon ones that were three drops that really never became anything. But for the most part, a three drop rare mythic planeswalker probably going to get played. Gollum Island, the Seed Core. Burning through here. Looking for the fancy jewels. Might. Forest, the hive. Yep. So, anyways, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what the popper situation is and artisan if, if uh, they do that. Poison counter, mountain, mist up, thrun in your area. Because I'm curious if it's just like here in Florida or if it's all over. Feel bad for Ixian Island. Eternal Wanderer foil. That's nice. And the Master Core, he, he can be a beast. Especially in sealed or draft. Yeah. The Rebel, another Frixian Plains. Razor Birds Thicket Full Art. That's nice. Nice little rare. I think between the land cycle at rare and the, the common and uncommon power in this set, and then the Frixian Lands. Uh, White Sun's Twilight and Xena Chronicler for double rare. I really think the draft boxes are going to hold up pretty well in this set. Draft boxes have been holding up pretty well in the last several sets. Rebel, Mountain, Wasteland's Twilight. I mean, there's not really Brothers War draft boxes real cheap or anything like that. Uh, the Beast, Plains, Contaminator. So I, I really think they might have kind of found some a decent pattern here lately. Rebel. Mountain. Progress and Drivnod for our next Mythic. So we're up to five now. I think they might have found a decent pattern with designing these sets recently. Uh, I don't know if it's just because they're overpowered. Samurai. Frixian Island. Uncle Grand. Just seems like uh, the last few sets just haven't really dropped in value yet. So, Arena, feel bad, and Frixian Plains, Foil Dancer, Razor Verge Thicket for another one, another rare land, Fast Land. I mean, the cards, the sets are great. Magic as a company is not doing so well. The Beast Island, Nahiri for Mythic number six. There we go. Doing much better than the last set box. <laughs> Set boxes are better. Not in this case. That last set box I opened was garbage. Rebel. Swamp. Uh, Uncommon Fall. Miglaws. Alright, now to four packs. 
Hopefully we get a good mythic here on the close. Hopefully we get a stupid hellish norn. What the hell is going on? My forest, the silex. Still have not pulled a single one. That's what, second draft box, two set boxes, six collector's boxes, <laughs> Phyrexian Horror, Phyrexian Forest, Uncle Grand again for the double tap. Right. Two packs, come on, give us something crazy at the close. Rebel, Forest, Azori, Full Art. All right, last pack. Let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think about Popper. If you've ever played, if you like it, if you think it's the greatest format or the worst format, let me know. Kitty, Plains, Blade of Shared Souls. Ugh, not the way you want to go out. All right, how do we do? We got a Seacrum Coast and two Razor Roots Thickets, one Full Art. Uh, we got six Mythics. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, seven. Seven Mythics. <laughs> I forgot about the one at the end. Uh, Jace, Veraska, all will be one. The Vindicator, Carnage, Dominus, Nahiri, and the Maze Crusher. Um, oh, wait. Maze Crusher isn't... Uh, no wonder. I thought I only had six. All right. I put a rare in the Mythic pile. I don't know why I did that. Usually it's the other way around. Usually I miss a Mythic and put it in the rare pile. But there's your six Mythics. Um, here we got a couple fall rares in here. Let me see. Yep. Uh, good fall rares, no less. Ooh, a few good fall rares. All right, so we got the Purity Overseer, the White Suns Twilight, and the Eternal Wonder, which is uh, one of the more valuable rares in the set. So there we go. How many Phyrexian lands did we get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So a third of the box. So there you go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the description below. A lot of good links down there. Save your money, get your cash back on all your purchases. I'll put the description for the, uh, uh, the completed bundles for Amazon. Just keep checking that. Every once in a while, they'll they'll open it up for orders and take a bunch of orders, and then they'll shut down. So it's only up for a couple hours when they do that. So keep checking in daily because you can get them on Amazon for eighty bucks. Everybody else is wanting like a hundred and up for those things, and we just don't know if it's going to be worth it. So so try and get them off of Amazon for the eighty. That's the best price I've seen anywhere. I ordered a bunch off there the last time they were available. Next time they're available, I might order some more just because the scarcity of them. So. But keep checking that link. Uh, that's where you're going to find the best deal on them. Thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate you watching. And we'll see you next one. Bye.